right, so maybe it's working now. Hello. Well. Can you hear? No, that's that's the old one. Um. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. I don't know. Oh, okay. Here we are. Here we are. We're back. Let's see if I can find it though. All right, guys. Just a small, small smidgen of a delay. And videos. What? That's not right. Well, I see us on my phone, so. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get this figured out, I promise. Oh, that was a good video. How miserable is a Tesla road trip? We'll find out soon, won't we? There we go, part two. Nope, that's not that's not what I'm wearing today. Um, I don't know. I, I see us on my phone, so I know we're live. So no, we'll keep going. We'll just we'll just watch it on my phone. No big deal. All right, guys. So I put the mug in for 13 minutes. Yay! So, and I see you guys. I see your comments. Um, I see him on my phone, and uh, Jason, I, I, I know, I was just kidding about um, Sprint. Oh, there it is, Full Blue Drinkware, 32 watching now. It's the very first one. There Fire. you go. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, Jason, I spell my name Sprint all the time when I'm typing uh, my signature for emails. So, Okay. So we got 13 minutes on that mug, and then the last mug that I'm going to do today is our L Mug 17SS. Now I had, I was actually bothered on vacation to ask about this mug, which was fine. I almost drove to our California warehouse to figure it out. So when we originally got this mug, I said no to the oven because of the handle. I didn't think that the handle could take the heat. We also didn't have a wrap that would fit this mug, but now we don't need a wrap. So the wrap has been solved. It has been solved. So I have extended the template to go edge to edge with the handle and all the way top to bottom, but I cannot figure out the holes, and, and I didn't want to have a, a, a freak out today, so I just went with what I got, um, but hopefully this will work. This should be really cute. This is the first time I've done this. Um, uh, Justin did one, or, uh, I guess, what, Thursday or yeah, one, was, one day this week. It was very week. respectable. Yeah. Very yeah. respectable. Uh, Lindsay's asking if we, um, if we ended the live broadcast. Like uh, Porky Pig. That's all, folks. That's it. That's all you get today. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, the one that Justin did looked really good. So. So this this mug is is sort of a special mug. Again, what's the part number for it? L M U G one seven S S. So it's the L Mug seventeen S S. It's the latte it's all mug. It just reminds me of the love mugs. Um, it, yeah. Every time I hear the part number. Well, but um, it, it's the Latte Mug 17 ounce stainless steel. So, so the, this mug is um, really state of the art, sort of a hybrid kind of mug. It has a plastic shell on the outside, stainless steel on the inside, um, and uh, very tough, very durable. And um, the challenge has been, you know, what's the decorating solution? Because there's really never been a good wrap. The only thing we've had has been a tapered mug press. And, you know, again, I'm hesitant to buy a tapered mug press. Um, it is handy, you know, if you're doing uh, mugs all day long. But really looking for another way to do it that covers more of the area of the mug, uh, does, a, does a good job. And lo and behold, um, I think Subla Shrink is going to be the answer. 
I do too. Um, so it would be a matter of, of perfecting the template um, so that we can uh, gradually go just about everywhere. So top of the handle, inside of the handle, mm, bottom. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think we can get there? I don't see why not. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't see why not. I think we're only limited to our imagination. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Okay. What do you think the time is? On, on this? this? Six yeah. minutes. Six minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this polymer. It's going to cook pretty fast because yeah. of the metal inside. Yeah, and, the, you know, the polymer is not like ceramic. Ceramic is not a good conductor of heat, and so it takes a while for it to heat up. Um, or it, would that make it a good conductor? So having, having the metal in there, um, once the heat metal comes up to temperature, then, then it radiates heat very well. Right. Okay. So the metal is a good conductor. The other is not. Okay. New here, does full bleed just mean printing on the entire surface? Yes, ma'am, Nancy. So that's top to bottom, side to side, all that good stuff. Ooh, Christina has a great question. Why the oven and not a vacuum press? So the um, vacuum press is, um, I think, I've, I've just not had a lot of luck with them personally, um, except for the very expensive ones. Um, so I think the oven, of course, is going to be a lot less expensive than a vacuum press. Um, and so what you can do with folks that did buy the, those vacuum ovens is just simply use it in oven mode. And, and just put stuff in there um, like that. But the, um, in theory, the vacuum process, um, in theory, should get the job done. But in practice, um, I've just never been happy with it. Um, and, um, and so the sublet shrink is just so fundamentally easy to do um, and works so well. Um, that's what I would recommend. But you could use your vacuum oven in, in the just heat mode. So, we love you guys. Will you be at the MBM show in Ohio? Yes, ma'am. They will be at booth 515, and they'll be doing their beautiful, our, our beautiful yeah, marker booth at fact, 633. Yeah, in fact, we've got two booths. Um, one is the main booth, and then the other is, um, and I think we're taking our big booth. I think this That's is a three-day show. Yeah, it is. Yep. And we're also going to have a coloring booth where you can come by, sit down for a couple of minutes, rest your feet, and color your little heart out. After you color, come back with your, 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 your work of art, your masterpiece, and let us sublimate it to something right before your eyes. We, it is so much, I got to say, it is such a cool thing to watch people come by the kiosk that, you know, until they came by, they probably didn't even know how to spell the word sublimation, and sometimes I struggle with spelling it. I was going to say, are we offering um, spelling classes now? And um, cool. they come by and, and they just, you, you see they're dumbfounded by what we're doing. So, um, and, and then you'll have veterans come by and, and they want to do something because, you know, once you sort of drink the sublimation coffee, you, you know, you can't get enough of it. Okay, so um, I was going to say something and then I forgot. Uh, okay, Carol, do me a favor and just email me swood at condi.com and we'll figure out what to do for that. She had a problem with the download, so yeah, no big deal. Um, download one of the condi designs? Yeah, she bought the diamond okay. pattern that we did last week, which All was right. just beautiful. All right, so we got three minutes left on our mug and we got six minutes on that mug. And, oh, so this is my last design. I really like this design. It's one of my favorite ones. It's called Bumblebees, and you guys will see it when I take the wrap off the mug. And, yeah, so two of you beautiful people, because I don't have Facebook, I'm just going to give it to two of you. Two of you are going to win all of the designs that I did today. So that would be the Peacock, the Bumblebee, and what's the third one? The Retro Squares. Oh, Retro Squares is what I did on the mug. Where do you come up with these things, by the way? My, my beautiful brain, my beautiful, Do beautiful brain. Do they come to you during a, your yoga? You know, you have yeah. yoga designs yeah. running around in your mind. That's right. Those little things that, that um, they, 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 they pull this, your mind away. That's you right. Know? When they tell me to visualize, visualize my happy place, usually it's just patterns. Patterns. Yeah, patterns. Patterns. So. So working on some Halloween stuff. Yep. And um, 
And I think I may have, um, you see the email from our, our good folks at Universal Woods. They, they want to jump in and help with theirs. Um, so hopefully we'll have some fun Halloween designs. Um, I was born in October, so October is my favorite month and um, can't get enough of Halloween. When's your birthday? October 18th. Okay. October right. 18th. Okay, just wondering. Um, Shelby asks, when printing using Creative Studio, should you keep the bleed line, bleed line checked for all printing or only for specific products? I don't know the answer so, if I do, if I do a mug, I definitely want to delete that bleed line because if I don't delete the bleed line, then that is going to sublimate onto the product. So, anytime you have, oh, I see. Yeah. So if like, okay. So if I'm doing like a piece of metal that's a four by four square, and my bleed line is four two five by four two five, I know that that is going outside the edge of the metal. But I would always say, delete the bleed line. I think it's um, it really comes down to if you're doing uh, a full bleed design like a crumblux piece of metal 5x7 or something, you definitely want to, to bleed over the edge. Um, so yes, but if you're doing a precise product like a mug, yeah, you well, would not. But you always want to, you never want to have that black outline on your design. You always want to push your design to the edge. So always go to that black outline, but always delete it. Because if not, you're going to have that on the outside of your, um, on the outside of your, your pattern. And that's just not going to look good. Or you're going to have to trim it off, which is something that I find I have to do But if you often. do a 5x7 piece of Chromalux, it's okay to go over the edge. That's correct. Because yeah. there's, there's nowhere for the ink to go. So Miriam says that her birthday is October the 7th, and that is awesome because I was asking you because Lindsay's birthday is October the 7th. So wow. happy birthday, Miriam. And happy birthday, Margie Lizzie. says her birthday is October 18th. Awesome, awesome. So what does that make you? Uh, you know, I, I, don't I, even know. I don't follow those. You're talking about the little... Yeah, what's your, what's, um, your, what's your sign, David? That sounds weird. Margie, what's the sign there? I can't remember. Um, so my mom's a scorpio. Is it Libra? Uh, no. I'm trying to remember. Oh, no. it's hot. Um, you know, I should know these things, but I don't, I don't really I mean, you've know. only been it for your whole life, you know. Correct. And, um, and I'm having one of those big birthdays coming up on the 18th. Really? Which is somewhat of a problem, I would say, you know. So, oh. um, by the way, folks, after you do drinkware, um, especially if it's ceramic, I absolutely recommend that you cool it over a powerful fan. Um, we have a um, cool plate, which is an incredible invention, um, to help you cool it. But um, um, years ago, we would recommend that you dip it in uh, lukewarm water. We do not recommend that anymore because um, some people had dipped it in cooler water and it would uh, cause micro fractures in the ceramic. Um, so um, my recommendation is is put it over a powerful fan. It is necessary that you do that. This is not a suggestion. If you do not do this, then the mug will stay hot because that's what the mug is designed to do. And the ink is still active in the coating because the mug is still very hot. And it will rise as heat rises and your mug design will look really, really weird as the, the um, ink rises with the heat. Oh. Okay, so I've got this mug, it looks really good. Um, so this is the second pattern up for grabs. This is called Retro Squares. And I just put this cute little coffee pattern in it. You can see the handle. Whew, that is kind of warm. I need some of these big boy gloves. Oh no, there we are, are we back? Oh, there's the handle. That, um, that's, that is excellent. I love this pattern. It's one of my favorite patterns. I Very use it a lot. Very rich, rich pattern. Yeah. You know, top to bottom, side to side, up and down. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Some black on it. You know, I can't tell you, even a seasoned professional, to do that with a wrap to get that good a quality takes practice. Subtle wrap makes it very easy. Um, so, so pretty amazing. Mm. Um, and the camp mug, um, cool, cool, very cool. All right, finished development of a, um, I'm going to come out with a 
um, pre-cut mug paper for the camp mug. So hopefully that will be out in a couple of weeks. Camp mugs have become extremely popular. Um, in fact, we ought to probably come out with a larger version of it or something. Mm -hmm. They've done, done exceptionally well out there. Um, just love how they feel, you know. Um, but really love our new new drinkware. And I think finally we decided on names. We appreciate everyone that was part of the naming contest. I am so excited we finally have a name. So we're not going to tell them the name. No, now. I can't we'll, tell we'll, you. We'll do that. But, um, I can't tell you what it is. You know, okay. the people put me under a lot of pressure. You know, you just wouldn't believe these folks. Um, I was in California texting the girls going, hey, tell David this name. <laughs> tell David this name. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, but we got it. I think we got it today. It was great. So, Miriam, no, this is the, the Mug 03. This is our 11-ounce Mako mug. It's just a really nice, nice mug. These are on sale for 75 cents right now, guys. Yeah. So, just a quick sort of commercial on 11-ounce mugs. So, 11-ounce mugs are obviously probably the highest volume mug in the world by far. We actually have three or four, I can't remember, of different quality levels. Our top of the line is the Mug 11. It's a Thailand manufactured mug. It is super dense, super consistent, um, super great of, of coating quality, you name it. Um, this would be what I would call a fantastic mug. It is the most economical of the, the Mug 11s. And then um, there's something in the middle. I can't remember. Apologize. And then we have mug the, the Mug 11 USA. So we have a 100% a USA made mug, and to my knowledge, um, the company that does it for us, um, and we're probably one of the very few people that sell it, it is the only made in USA mug. If anyone ever says that they have a made in USA mug, um, it's probably not. Um, it probably means that it's a Chinese mug that was coated in the United States or decorated in the United States, but it's not. This is it. And it is expensive um, because the economies of scale of the, the ceramics here and the ceramics there in China are, are completely unrelated. Um, China has such, such large volume. But hey, we're supporting this um, ceramics manufacturer here in the United States trying to grow their volume because if we grow their volume, they will uh, continue to lower their prices and uh, they will continue to expand their product line. So I think we've got a 11 ounce made in USA mug and a 15 ounce made in USA mug. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. So we got one and a half minutes left on my mug. So I think we're about an hour in. I'm gonna finish the mug. We'll play a game. We'll give some stuff away. Yeah, I think one person was trying to guess the weight already. I saw around. that. I saw that. I don't, I don't think you get to guess the weight yet. Um, I don't know what you're guessing the weight of yet. Yeah. Um, well, I think they, they can guess. They can guess. They? Um, Thanks, Craig. Welcome back, Sprite. Hope you had a great vacation. It was um, good. So let's talk about what we did. This is fun. So we went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We went to the Venice Boardwalk, and we walked all the way up to the Santa Monica Pier. Um, my cousin got married in Malibu in Topanga County, which was super nice. And then, then we went to Big Bear Mountain. Wow. And then we came home. So now I'm here. <laughs> I've not been to Big Bear Mountain. Where is that? Um, is it's that? It, it's right outside. It's east of L.A. It's okay. um, in the mountains in the Sierra Nevadas. So my grandfather used to take us there all the time. Wow. So it's really so pretty. Cool. Chad, you, my husband, you could not wipe the smile out of his face. He was he had the best time. So. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So all right, we got 27 seconds left. Let yeah, me check we'll in. be back in um, LA uh, area in January. So um, that would be pretty exciting. So you ought to you ought to talk to the powers to be about um, going to that trade show. I don't, hmm. I don't know. So, so hey, powers that be. So you know um, you, you know you only let me go to Texas. <laughs> so uh, we've got the ISA, ISS show up in January. Um, another big show coming up in Texas is the um, Print United, which is formerly the SGI show. We will be exhibiting there. And um, 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually let that go for another minute. So explain what you just did. Okay. So, um, so my temperature is fluctuating here, and it's really my fault because I had to go between 360 to 375 to 4, so it kind of bounces around. Um, so what I do, and I've, I've told you guys about this a couple times, and I know a few of you are doing it, hey, Mom, um, is I am I'm checking to see if the image is starting to sublimate through the subla shrink. And I don't see that, so I know that it hasn't sublimated fully yet. So I'm just, just going to give it another minute. And I'm minute. wondering if, if we had looked at this carefully, if a little bit more time, but you think it's because of the way we attached yeah, the I think it, that was. I think that was an attachment issue. Go figure. Yep. So we'll have to do it. But I want to see it, you know, just, I know. just do a Hail Mary on it and just, just see what happens, um, you know, see what kind of design. Because I have the water bottle I have at home is a very large one. And, you know, you could see that, that um, a technique like this was done. And it, it's, it's, it's passable in those areas, even though it's not perfectly focused in those area you probably lifted just a little bit it still looks pretty good okay I don't I don't know I'm not I'm, I'm unsure um, oh I burned the top of my uh, my glove okay let's see I'm, it's I'm better than burning the top of your hand so I was I was cooking in California and I got this big burn across my forearm and just par for the course you know doesn't matter cooking in the kitchen with sprite yeah, and uh, to reiterate to people that are sort of maybe haven't been with us for a while, um, she asked which mugs are on sale for 75 cents. Something like the Mug 03s um, are on sale. Um, seems like the partner in there, A, but no, maybe there's, there's not. not. Mug 03. She says Mug 03. That's it. Um, it's a great deal. Um, very high volume mug around here. Um, as people may not realize, we have clients that are folks like you, and we have many, many clients, and then we have some, some of the mega clients that um, you all know, you've heard their names, and um, so we, we try to be a very good partner to everyone, um, and, um, and it's a lot of fun doing that. So we will sell containers of mugs to the, the big folks uh, on a regular basis. Why are you smiling? I love, this is a really, really cute pattern. Um, so I probably, I should have let it go a little bit longer. I told you. You I, did. I you, like you, you, I you told me. So my temperature is down, to th it dropped to 350 and it got up to 375, but that was about as much as it did. So you guys can see it's a little fuzzy here, a little fuzzy there. The handle kind of, I should probably shouldn't have done the handle so long, but, all right, this is this. And, is and in all fairness to Sprite, the, since she came back um, from vacation, she did Seen not do a test on her. She relied a little bit on the data that um, our R&D our lab provided. Yeah, so this is the third pattern. This is my Bumblebee pattern. I absolutely love this pattern. But the exceptional good transfer around the top of it, yeah. that, that is... That's awesome. We've never been able to achieve something like that before. No, and this is just, like, I can see what happened there. So that's all me. Okay, and, how and cute. And going down to the, the uh, bottom All the way it, to the bottom. Very attractive. Um, Looks pretty good. So I, I, personally, I love this mug. It's a latte mug. It's very attractive. And you can get a lid for it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got, got that. Lid. Yeah. I think this is the Lid 17 SS, I think. I don't know. So, really, it's a push. And um, so, for all of $79 plus a little of the Subla Shrink film, you're in business. That's um, right. You know, just think about, you know, the crazy business model. Let's say you bought the sublimation markers, the artist free markers. You started doing uh, fundraising, kitty stuff. Um, Think of all the ways in everybody's coloring, and you're putting the transfers on there, popping them in your mug, um, and the folks leave with their product. Um, they've got a personalized product that's dishwasher safe in most cases. Probably the double wall stuff, we, you don't put that yeah. in the uh, dishwasher. Can't, you don't want to get water into the, the inner wall. But um, 
you know, Mug 11, Camp Mug, um, Latte Mug. Um, what a great business model. You didn't use a computer. You didn't use a printer. You just used the markers and maybe you made up some, some templates like we'll use at the Columbus show. All right, guys. It's that time. Is Carol, it time? my email, swood, S-W-O-O-D, at condi.com. But it is everybody's favorite time of the day. It is the day where you get, it is the time of, it is everybody's favorite time of the day. It's time to guess the weight. So I would like you to guess the weight of these four items right here. Um, only your first guess counts. Uh, you have to guess in pounds, so 1.7, 8.5. Um, yeah, so I'll ship it to and you. And you have to not go over, right? Right, for closest to without going closest over. Closest to, and I usually um, have my rules you, can't, you can't, Get, you can't win more than once every 90 days. Once every 90 days. Yep. Uh, any other other sprites? We normally rules. say one guess on face and uh, Facebook and one guess on but YouTube, but that have doesn't one count. Platform. And so wow. So yeah. So that screen is scrolling so fast; it's mind-boggling. So wow. guess guess the four. Guess guess how much they weigh, and I'm going to give it to somebody closest to without going over. So we got the mug O3, the CM11, the Tum211, and the L mug 17 SS. This is still hot. a little bit hot. Okay. So in the interim. I'm going to give some more stuff away. I've got two winners for my art packs. I'm excited about this. So, Lucy Desi and Jason Burge, I'm going to give you the three patterns that we printed today. So, Lucy Desi and Jason Burge, please email me, swood at condigot.com. Um, okay. Also, let me give something else away. I have every single week we give away a gallery contest winner. Every month we do, we do a huge uh, quarterly contest where we give away, um, I think it's 400, 300, 200, 100, and then a consolation prize of $100. And that is, this, this quarter is your best outside of the box thing. And I've been getting some great, great entries in that. But every single week I give away uh, $25 in Condi credit to just a random person that enters their artwork in. This week's $25 gallery contest winner is Lee Ainsworth. Lee did our linen uh, pencil bags. This oh. is JDW 751. Well, Super so it's a, cute. It's sort of a music theme. So she did these to, um, she did these as back to school uh, oh. pencil bags, I guess for like a music class. So really cute. So, Lee, you will be uh, receiving an email for wow. $25 in Condi Cash. Awesome. Woo -woo. Awesome. Yay. Um, so, I didn't have a review winner, but this is what I need you guys to do. It's super easy. It's a super easy way to win. Just go to the product that you like or don't like and tell me why you do or don't like it, and then I will randomly select someone and give them $25 in Condi Cash. It is that easy. No big deal. Okay. That, that is it. So, the weight was 2.3 pounds. And based on the comments that I can see, the very first person, because a couple of y'all got it, the very first person to guess 2.3 pounds was Shelly Rizzo. So, Shelly, Lucy, Jason, email me, swood at condi.com, and I will send you all this stuff. And Dale, if you're watching, I promise I'm going to send your stuff today. Well, there she is. Wow. That's all I got, guys. That's cool. I'm done Any for the day. Uh, remaining questions for us? Uh, we hope to see you folks uh, that are in the Columbus area come by. Um, and um, again, oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the Sublimation Summit is that um, if you use at checkout, if you're buying a two day fast, it's two days, um, and you use Condi 50, um, you'll save $50. Um, so, so take advantage of that. So. Um, again, some, some great educational opportunities. Let us know how we can serve you. Let us know how we can grow your business. Um, and um, if you, you know, place orders online and you do all that, be sure to get to know your Condi rep. Um, it'll be on your invoice. Let us know. Uh, email your Condi rep as you need to. Stay in touch with them. Um, it's a great resource um, to it. And um, I think the, the email um, 
email what was that? Email went out. Um, so check your email. If you did not get an email from us or whatever by the end of the day, um, please let us know. Send us a message. We'll make sure you're on our email list. But definitely you, you got something special from us today that, as people say, you can take it to the bank. So, okay. So, um, one more thing. So I just got a message from the girls in marketing, and they informed me that I was wrong on the winner, but not to fear, Shelly. I'm just going to give it to another person as well. So, Jeff Suno, you also were correct. Um, according to Lindsay, you were the winner. Wow. So, we, we so got, we're giving away two. We got audited. We got, um, we got audited. Audited upstairs. The, the folks upstairs audited us, and... Um, so, so glad somebody's um, checking behind us. Yeah, so yeah. Shelly, Jeff, Lucy, Jason, you guys email me, Sprite, uh, excuse me, swood at condi.com, and, um, and I'll send you your stuff. So, but if you don't email me, I can't send you your stuff. All right. So lots of questions. I guess anything else? Um, on the 11 ounce, you can just go to the product page. It'll show you the shrink wrap for the 11 ounce. You That's right. Know, it's the SF79. SF79. Yep. Um, and we will continue to add um, additional sizes of the subla shrink. Um, we're just having a ball with it. Um, going to grow. You can do cat bowls, dog bowls. Um, and so that comment about what can you do in the oven, um, wow, what a loaded question. So, yeah. again, thank you for being with us today. And um, uh, we're going to try our best to do a live broadcast from the show. It may be... Um, Friday, it may be Saturday. So stay tuned. We'll put a post up. Thank you. Love you, Mom.